so um, I decided I would officially um, record or document um, my LECA life journey, which is basically transitioning my plants, existing plants from soil into LECA or semi-hydro. Um, <clears throat> just because, number one, I wanted to get more plants indoor because most of my plants, like majority of my plants, which I counted last weekend, roughly around more or less 412 plants. And more, most of them, when I say most of them, I only have five plants indoor, so the rest are outside. Um, I wanted to transition more plants indoors and of course I don't want to bring pests inside the house that's one and I also um, well um, I've, I've based on what I've learned and researched so far um, it's not advisable to transition plants into LECA and then keep them outdoors this, this it's mostly made for indoors or if you have like a greenhouse so um, I wanted to transition, I mean, transition most of my smaller plants to LECA and be able to bring them inside the house. So, um, today is actually day two because yesterday was day one and it was when I was, I, I did the transplant or the repatting or the transition um, of four of my plants into LECA. It's a golden photos my Hoya hinder rope that has not shown any growth at all for like four months so i'm hoping she's gonna be a little bit happier in Leka. um and then a syngonium which i've also based on everything i've watched in youtube are um actually plants that are really happy in Leka. and um, a lucky plant that was actually just given to me by a friend yesterday as well. So uh, she gave me two pots. I trans I repotted one pot which has two stems. Um one into leka and one into water, which is here somewhere. I'm just gonna look for it. Um yeah, so that's four. And then today I'm um repotting one day. I'm um, repatting one of my I think this is a peperomia I'm just gonna research specifically which um, what specific peperomia it is but I decided to move her into Leka because I've had her for like I don't know um, maybe three four months and she hasn't shown any any growth at all but I think it's because she's she's um she's in the wrong soil the soil I have her in actually gets very dry very fast like dry dry which is not really good for her I'm just gonna post a picture of how she looks like in the pot so there and um these are the roots and this is I don't know, four months worth of roots, which is not really bad, I think, but I don't think it's just as healthy as well. So, there. Um, so, I'm gonna use just this glass that I've been using for propagation because I don't have available. So, usually people use uh, nursery pots or orchid pots or mesh pots and then a catch pot for the water reservoir but um, I don't have those today so I'm just gonna use this and the water um, doesn't have any holes which I was which I'm imagining is gonna make you know flashing a little bit difficult but I think I'm gonna be able to manage because it's a relatively smaller glass and I also realized I don't have enough like a ball stuff I ordered some I, I order some but it hasn't arrived yet so i'm just gonna make use of what i have for now um so uh, we also need like a boss which um based on what i've seen other people do as well as some would actually boil their letter because when it arrives it's actually very dusty so you have to make sure it's clean so some people follow the process where they would um boil it or others would actually soak it overnight like for 24 hours but um well whilst other will just others will just wash it and use it right away after um, 
but this one technically I washed it yesterday so it's been 24 hours already but for those plants that I actually moved into LECA yesterday um, I washed the LECA balls and then use it right away after so yeah I don't think it's really gonna make much of a difference probably it depends on the condition I mean, people always say it depends on your condition, where you're at, your water, um, your light situation, and also you just really have to do a lot of research. And most of this are actually going to be experimental, of course. Um, hopefully, um, not to the extent that you're going to lose something. Okay, so um, first is, of course, to. Oops. Put some of the letter balls into um, the pot that you're gonna be using. I'm gonna keep losing them. I don't have. I don't really have a lot. Um, ideally, I'm gonna put um, letter balls like a third um, of the container or the pot I'm gonna be using. But since I don't really have a lot of them right now. I'm just gonna uh, put some in there and then put the plant and just make sure that the roots are covered. So I think that's the key part. Um, just make sure that the roots are covered. Which I'm not really doing a very good job of making sure right now because I don't have enough little bones. Hmm. Is stressful. I'm not sure how I'm gonna make this work. So I'm probably just, just gonna be temporary while I wait for like new um the additional um like I actually ordered I think. Hopefully this week they're gonna arrive. But that's the one of the good things about like a You can reuse them. For their extra clean, especially if you use them, if you have used them for another plant or something. So I'm just doing it again. So I want to make sure I have enough to cover the soil. Okay. So Nate, this is not a very good example of how I'm gonna do it. Obviously, because if I have enough like a balls, I'm probably gonna cover. I'm gonna be put. I'm, I'm probably gonna put like a boss up until here, and then add the plant, and then add additional like a boss on top to make sure that the roots are covered. But since I don't, I don't have enough, this is just gonna do for now. And um, based on everyone, everything I've watched so far, the general rule of thumb is to put. Um, water one third of the way of the pot that you're using and just making sure that um, the soil is set up above the water and not submerged because the entire purpose of the leka balls is um, you know the, the leka balls are actually I mean it keeps um, it brings water up to the soil and that's the reason why you don't have to water them as you would, you know, uh, regular plant and soil. There's a scientific explanation to that, which I forgot. But I'm probably just going to mention on day 3 or 4 or the succeeding days of this LECA journey. So, the next step is to put water in it. And um, another key thing to know about transitioning to LECA is that you also have to research about um, 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 nutrient substitute because you're using LECA balls which are not soil therefore they don't have the nutrients that are present in soil that the plant needs so you have to substitute that with some with something else which is the hydrophonic um, liquid there are combinations I purchased one as well along with the additional leca balls which is like nutrient a b and c so you have to use all three combination and um 
um, based on most of the um, folks I've watched, has been doing DECA for years. Uh, most of them did mention that you don't necessarily have to use it on the first week or first few days, even up to the first month. Um, after you've transitioned the plan from soil to leka or water to leka so i think i can wait um i think the plants can wait a little bit but we'll see so yeah i was actually thinking earlier to just you know probably just repack this and just water instead if i have plans of um you know um changing current setup and we've had an additional leka balls in the next few days but I don't know I just decided I'm just gonna do it anyways um, and explain to her why and say sorry if she has to go through you know a lot of changes in the next few days because of the things I want to do with her but you know just told her that the intent is to make sure she gets healthier and happy happier um faster and better i think um so there this is how it looks like and i really prefer to use a transparent cut uh, a transparent um pot because i don't know if, um there are people who, th who says that it doesn't really matter if they see how their roots look like but i just i don't know it's just I prefer to see it for myself. Um, it's part of my daily routine. Um, you know, checking if all of my plants are okay, if there are new babies, and I think being able to see uh, visually if the roots are okay just adds another level of security, at least for me, especially since I'm, I'm using uh, something that's very, very new to me. So I'm say it's working it's not working because again it's just day two so that's the purpose of documenting as well just so i could do an update probably a year from now and see how she's gonna look like a few months after or a few days after or a year after and then we can conclude if it's really worth the pros of using like versus the cons which are it's a little bit expensive <laughs> Also, you have to make sure you have enough space indoors um, because it's not advisable to keep them outdoors. Um, primarily because I think, of course, if it's especially in the rainy season when it's going to rain continuously and there's going to be bad uh, water build up, so that's not a very good idea. Um, yeah, so then, plant number five in Leka. Thank you.